In this video, I'm going to show you how to use AppDelete Lite. Now, AppDelete Lite is not very different than AppDelete, but there is one restriction due to the guidelines of the Mac App Store. Let me explain. Let's go ahead and open AppDelete Lite. And we can open the Finder to find an app to delete. Let's choose maybe Tweety. And we can see the list of files. Or we can also just hit the Apps button here. Scroll down as well. Maybe type it in. There we go, Tweety. Let's click on Search. And there's the files, again, just like App Delete. The difference is when I hit Delete, you might see that there's a file remaining. And that's what this message is here telling you, delete the remaining items manually. Again, this is because of the Mac App Store. App Delete Lite can't delete password protected files. What we're gonna do, there's an easy solution. Just click here, do not show this message again. And up here on the path, click that path and it's gonna open in Finder. Simply click move to trash. Put your password. And now Tweety is gone. We can go ahead and close this. And if we go down and look in our trash, we'll see there it is. Now, if you have lots of files to delete, lots of apps to delete, or plugins, or whatever, and you want the full version, then App Delete can do all of this automatically. But if you just have a few to delete here and there and you want to use the Mac App Store and you want to save a little money, then App Delete Lite can work good for you too. That's how you use App Delete Lite.